Zest of one lemon. Okay, I don't know what zest of one lemon means. It's a cooking show. And she doesn't know what lemon zest is. What? I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> oh my God. You don't have to do that. You don't need to cut the soil from that. Oh, well, <laughs> do you want to switch? <laughs> 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 Look at that! Glitter Bay! Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate, the place where we cook amazing Italian food and we react to funny, bad and good Italian recipes. Today we are reacting to the new series on Netflix by Paris Hilton, Cooking with Paris. <laughs> I am a little bit worried. If you guys watch my latest video about Paris making lasagna, you know that Paris Hilton is not a really good cook. So can this series teach us something? She dedicated us an episode to Italian cuisine. It's called An Italian Night with Paris Hilton. Let's see what she can do for you. Okay, here we are on Netflix. We, I love Netflix. I watch Netflix pretty much every day, okay? I love Netflix, okay? Now, this is the episode we're gonna react Alan to. Alan and Honesty ever since. They're the perfect sous chef for tonight's Italian extravaganza. Right, okay, so tonight's extravaganza is Paris Hilton cooking with Demi Lovato. It sounds good, so let's see. Let's watch it. So classy, so classy. All right, she's going shopping for us, okay? I want to see how you cook, okay? Lasagna. But I want to mix it up, so I'm expanding my repertoire. I found some brand new recipes. And I'm she found brand new recipes. I'm inviting my friends over to test them out. Will we create culinary magic? Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. That looks good. That cake looks good. Italian night with Paris. That's a nice car. Okay, so let's see what we put in here. Unicorn Oli. Prepping Unicorn Oli filling. Unicorn Oli. So are they cannoli made by Paris Hilton? It's Paris Hilton making cannoli. I am a big fan of cannoli and I love cannoli. So let's see what she's gonna do. Ricotta is my favorite thing in the world. Fantastic! Ricotta cannoli is the way to go. The most authentic, most delicious way to eat cannoli is with the ricotta cream. But you need the whole tub of ricotta. These literally do not work. <laughs> Just put everything in the bowl. Oh my god, I've got the same bowl. We have the same bowl. Okay. In the food processor. Mm, okay. I normally use the, the stand mixer, but I guess the food processor does the same job. Zest of one lemon. Okay, I don't know what zest of one lemon means. We are watching a cooking show that probably costed millions of dollars to create, okay? It's a cooking show. And she doesn't know what lemon zest is. We have a big problem here. I do want to have a show on Netflix. I want to have my own cooking show on Netflix. My travel cooking show around Italy, okay? And I don't know if it's gonna happen because, I, you know, I'm not Paris Hilton. I don't have the money of Paris Hilton and Netflix probably is not interested in investing in me. But then they invest in Paris Hilton just like that and she doesn't know what lemon zest is. What's going on in this planet? What's going on? Why do we have to watch a cooking show by someone who doesn't know how to cook? Oh, shit. Guys, notice she always says the gloves on. The gloves are always there and they're matching the outfit. I need to like, make a note to myself. Order a zester. <laughs> I wish I was Paris Hilton. I wish I was Paris Hilton. Hey guys. Uh, just send me a new blender, please. A, I need a new fork right now. I don't want to wash the one in the sink. So come on, bring me a set of new fork. <laughs> Powdered sugar. Yes, powder sugar for cannoli is good. Powdered sugar is the way to go. Oh, it's very runny. Mm, I put more than that in my ricotta cream, but that's okay. Ew. 
Oh. Oh no, he didn't like it. What's wrong with that? What happened? Gross. You love ricotta Paris. I'm so disappointed. What you didn't like about it? What's wrong? Shit, I'm not supposed to like cook this or anything because this is supposed to be what goes in there and it tastes beyond. I think I need to make it more sugary. Oh, okay, that's why. You need to put plenty of sugar. Normally I use 200 grams of sugar for 500 grams of ricotta. At the same time, I like to add a little bit of cinnamon and I like to put lemon zest. Like you did, but be generous with the lemon zest. No. Oh my god, she's putting... She put sugar inside, but... <laughs> How is the sugar gonna reach the bottom part of the piping bag? What are you thinking of doing, Paris? All right, we need to get Demi Lovato to come. Come on, where is Demi? You need help. Hey, how are you? Ooh, Demi Lovato. Good to see you. You look like a Barbie doll. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you look like a Barbie doll, Paris, and you love it. You do wanna be Barbie, I know. You can always buy a new dress. But you can't, like, buy a new life. I'm a Barbie girl. How to make Ize Caprese. How to make Ize Caprese. You are the perfect person to create restaurant menus. I love the names. They sell. I will go to a restaurant and choose that because of the name. Unicorn Oli. Wow, what a great name. Yes. I love Italian food. <laughs> We know that, Paris, and thank you so much. Thank you for promoting Italian food. Paris, this salad is fantastic, but you don't need to cut the tomato like that. You can, there's nothing wrong with it, but the real caprese, you cut into slices. But if you want to chop it up, I've done it before, it's nice. You can mix the bocconcini and the diced tomato, and that's a nice caprese, but it's, it's an easy caprese. What's next? Um, fresh basil plant. Wow, okay, you got the plant, which is nice, nice and fresh. What? I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> oh my god, you don't have to do that. You don't need to cut the soil from that, okay? You just need to get the basil that you want, leave it in the bag. What do you, have a garden That's out back? Like alive, yes. <laughs> oh, Demi, no, 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 she doesn't have a garden. <laughs> she has a nice pool for sure and a very good looking car. Got our crazy plate. How should I cut these? Like, what, like a leaf at a time? Or do, like, you can Guys, don't cut the basil, please. Rip the basil with your hands. If you cut the basil on the chopping board, all the beautiful flavors, all everything stays on the chopping board. Rip it with your hands. You can pick them. Pull them, I think. Okay. Yeah. Okay, the mozzarella way to Perfect, they were listening to me, thank you. And I think we just cut it into thin slices. Perfect, yeah, that's Our the one. Chopping skills. Or to die for. To die for. <laughs> All about the presentation. Okay, that's what they're doing. They think they're scared to touch it with the hands. That's okay. But they're cutting it into slices, which is good. <laughs> <laughs> Caprese usually looks a little... Like Paris is scared. I have a cooking show, but I don't want to touch my food. I don't want to ruin my gloves. Yes. More tomato. Mm -hmm. The balsamic. You should just go for it. Yeah. You don't have to put balsamic on the caprese, okay? You don't have to. I, I guess people like that flavor. But if you have a nice, beautiful tomato, a nice fresh basil, a fresh mozzarella, you don't want balsamic vinegar. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. Insane. Ooh, that's a balsamic reduction. Yeah, balsamic reduction is really good. That's the best way to have balsamic. But let me tell you, what I've done with the caprese is not that wrong, okay? What I will do is, at that point, I will actually mix everything. So all the flavors make up with each other. Um, but, you know, I don't want to say anything bad. The caprese, it's easy to do. I would have done it differently. And she did put olive oil, okay? She did put extra virgin olive oil. That's gonna be bomb. Salt Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. What's next? What's next now? How to make homemade heart-shaped ravioli. Wow! Wow, wow! That's a big challenge for you guys. Ravioli. First, get all your ingredients together. Roll the dough until it's like super flat. Fill it with ricotta and stamp out the cute heart shape. Is Paris Hilton actually doing this? Or is she just putting... I don't even know if that's your hands, Paris Hilton. 
I don't know if you're doing this. I'm show me your face doing it. But honestly, it looks good if that's what you did. All right. All right. I'm assuming make a well. Like a well, like. Yeah, I think we just like make a hole. Jig. Oh <laughs> my god! Oh my god! Look! Look! <laughs> just put your hand in there and make a well. Just don't be scared of flour. Just luck. <laughs> oh no! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Paris Hilton is worse than Kay from Kay's cooking channel. Can you believe, believe Paris Hilton and Kay together in the same episode? Can you believe it? This is what I want to see on Netflix. Paris Hilton and Kay were cooking together. The worst cook on YouTube on Netflix. Oh, that would be so much fun. Yeah, I did it the wrong area. Just throw it. <laughs> throw you over. <laughs> Good, don't throw the food away. I'm glad Paris is doing that. Do not throw the food out. Thank God we have these other gloves. It's, oh, I don't want to ruin Oh, these are not fancy gloves, Paris. How are you doing, Paris Hilton? I'm sorry, but your brand will go down. Your shares will go down if you do that. Those blue gloves do not belong to your hands. It doesn't match your outfit, Paris. Come on, don't disappoint us. You can use your normal gloves and then you throw them out. My sliv gloves. Oops, we didn't beat the eggs. It's fine if we just do it now. Slowly incorporate a little flour at a time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you think you have to do, huh? What do you think? The egg and the flour, they make love together, huh? While you watch, you have to do the job. Okay, how's the dog going? Keep that kneading. looks like it's getting somewhere. Does. I think we figured. I th oh my god, it's so sticky. So she had to throw out the dough and the gloves. Oh, well. <laughs> Do you want to switch? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to like get rid of this girl. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Oh, I think someone is gonna make the dough for you. Form the ravioli. Slightly <laughs> soften and flatten the dough to make a disc. This is gonna be fun. Okay, they're using the pasta machine for the first time. Oh, what's gonna happen? Until it comes out the other end. You put it in the place dough in the middle. Oh my god, that's a very good pasta machine. That's the Imperia brand. The only pasta machine my nonna uses it. It is the most expensive one. In Australia, we're looking at buying this machine for $120, but it's the best. Machine and crank it until it comes out the other end. <laughs> it won't fit. <laughs> um, maybe yours maybe will fit. Maybe this one? Um, maybe it's too thick. It might be too thick on that one. Okay, I'll tell you what's happening here, okay? What you're doing to make the pasta dough thinner, yes, it's good, but the pasta machine has different settings, okay? You need to start from the wide setting, okay? Wide, so set up the pasta machine to the wide setting. You put the pasta dough inside and then you, you know, it will uh, get thinner. And then you go to the um, tighter setting. So let's say the widest setting is number one, then you move to number two and you pass the dough through the pasta machine again. And you stop at number five usually. But yeah, if you don't do that, the pasta dough will never go through the pasta machine. And if it does, it will be like destroyed, okay? So all your hard work gets destroyed by a super tight pasta machine. Okay. okay. Yeah, look how tight it is, I can see. See how tight it is? Look at that. It's extremely tight. There is no way the pasta dough can go through the whole day. There is no way, no way. I actually, bought like normal ravioli that's already made. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so maybe to make it easier, we'll just grab that. <laughs> oh God, it's a cooking show and they can't cook. What have we learned so far? Uh, what have I learned? I, I'm, I'm having good fun. I'm having fun at least. Are you having fun? Let me tell you, but what are we learning from you? We can just pretend we made these. Yeah, okay, let's just pretend they made these. Okay, let's go to the cannoli, okay? Let's see how you make cannoli. <laughs> Always have a backup. <laughs> no, you don't have to have a backup. You just need to have more passion, more love, more concentration, you know? Come on, Paris, you can do it. You know, Paris, you would love to come to Italy with me and spend time with Nonna. You would love it so much. Such a sweet lady. You would love to learn from her. It still counts. Very nice ravioli, Paris. Very, very nice ravioli. But you're not wearing the same gloves. Are those your hands, Paris? Hmm? Um, Great. Let's see. Two sticks, unsalted butter cubes. You start 
Oh, on the soles. Not cubes, but not doing cubes, a good job. But I guess. Now it is. Sense. Well, it's about to be cubed. I don't don't worry if the butter is not cubed. It will melt, okay? Don't worry. Don't stress too much. <laughs> what? Wow, okay. She hasn't boiled the water yet. I mean, this is going to take a while. The butter takes one minute to melt. The water should have been boiling already, okay? Now it's going to take about 10, 15 minutes for the water to boil. Boiling water is easy. <laughs> That's easy, Paris. Huh? You can make a cup of tea. Measure sage. You're measuring the sage. Come on, Paris, don't do that. All you have to do is to fill it. Get the sage and put it in the butter with your beautiful, delicate hands. Give extra flavor to the butter. Put your smell in it. The smell of Paris. Actually, don't you have a perfume, Paris Hilton? Come on, put it in there. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, so the butter is saging. I love this dish. I love this dish. I love it. Beautiful butter with sage. I love it. There you yeah, go. Got it. And avoid to put the lid on top. See the lid there? Avoid because what's going to happen? The steam can create uh, bubbles and then the water will go up. There will be a foam creating in there and then it will explode and the water will go everywhere. Try to leave it a little bit open, okay? When you cover the lid. Yum. So yeah, I'm just gonna... Oh no! Oh no, Demi! No! Always put the pasta with the sauce. Or in this case, you put the pasta in the skillet and then you toss it together. You just mix with a spoon. Toss, make sure the ingredients make love with each other. The ravioli gets the flavor from the butter and the sage. And then you serve. If you do this, you make a mess in the plate and you're not able to mix it together. By the way, how many people are coming for dinner? Huh? That's not enough ravioli for two, that's enough for one. How can you eat that for breakfast? Whoa. Looks so good. Oh my God. I'm sure it's gonna look delicious, by the way. It's beautiful. Huh? I would say put more sage and now a sprinkle of pecorino cheese on top. <laughs> uh, we did it. Yes. Paris, Demi did it, you didn't do it. All you did is boiling the water, Paris, okay? Demi did it. Parmesan. Yum. Parmigiano Reggiano, no Parmesan. Parmesan sounds French. Parmigiano Reggiano, the only and truly cheese from Emilia Romagna, aged 12, 18, 24, 36 months. It's a beautiful artisan product. Parmesan sounds like Parmesan, it's cheap. It's fake and you pay for fake cheese. If you want Parmigiano, buy the Parmigiano. You don't want to buy Parmigiano because you think it's expensive? Don't use anything. Use Pecorino. Ah, well done, well done for the pasta. Now it's time for the Unicorn Holy. How to make Unicorn Holy dessert. These are regular, boring, unfun cannolis. Boring? Unfun? Cannolis? Are you kidding me? Cannoli are the best. You can eat them every single day. You get happier and happier every day. What are you gonna do? How can you improve this cannoli? Mine will be glittery rainbow masterpieces. Ah, you want the glitters, of course. You want the glitters. Okay, I cannot wait to see it. Pound ricotta. Um, I already made that part. Okay. Oh no, Demi, remake the ricotta, please. She made a mess. She made a mess. There isn't enough sugar. Zest of one lemon. What? What's a zest? Oh my god, Demi, no, I didn't expect this from you. These guys never spend time in the kitchen. And they are showing us how to cook. <laughs> is that the, the a top zest? of it? I know what a zest is. Okay. I actually had no idea what a zest is <laughs> earlier. At least they are, oh look, at least they are real, okay? They are not faking it. But I learned because I went to our friend Google. <laughs> I love Google. Oh yeah, the pink one is fine. ready, yeah. Oh wow. Yes. Pink chocolate. So yeah. Pink and purple chocolate melted so they can dip the cannoli in there. Yum! Dip each end of the cannoli shells. Yeah. Ooh, good looking cannoli. They must be Sicilian cannoli. I think they come from Sicily. They look fun real. Alright. Wow. You wanna put the gloves on now. Put the gloves on. You put the gloves now. 
Oh, you'll be smelling like chocolate for three weeks. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, yum. I'm not under this on my dress. What a fantastic idea. What a fantastic idea, Paris. Dip in sprinkles or dust with it. I am. It actually is glitter. Tastes like nothing. Oh, of course. Yeah, this literally looks like eyeshadow. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna put it on the eyes and do a glitter makeup. Look at that! Glitter bay! It's like all over my face now. <laughs> <laughs> It is, it is. Look, I, I'm enjoying this. There's nothing to say. What can I say? What do you expect uh, from Paris? But this is fun. This actually makes me want to start cooking more. Yes. Like, <laughs> so much fun. Paris is not really interested in cooking. She said, mm, I like when my food is cooked by someone else. Yes. Wow, this oh, is going to so be cool. so... Oh, oh my god. Yes. Wow. No. Okay. Guys, the most important part of cannoli, the most important part. First, the ricotta needs to be nice and dense. Creamy, but a little bit dense. Guys, when you put the cream in the cannoli, you start from one side, so you want to fill up half of the cannoli, okay? Half. Do half, and, and get, you got the piping bag inside. You do the first half, and then you move the piping bag out, so you can fill the, the half of the cannoli. And then you turn it around, you put the piping bag inside, starting from the middle and finish it to fill it up okay so basically you want to fill up the cannoli and you have no gap in the middle so when you hit the cannoli there is no gap you got cream from one side all the way to the other okay oh shit okay <laughs> your turn oh Ooh, my God. paris here tom's turn is it just shoot out y yeah okay. it really does <laughs> well <clears throat> oh my god Sure. Oh, I was supposed to keep this in the refrigerator. I've had it out. Before. Yes, you're keeping it in the refrigerator, but it's a video. I understand. I made the same mistake when I filmed my video. You're filming. You can't think of everything. The cream has been out of the fridge for way too long. Okay, and that's what happens when it goes out of the fridge and when the ricotta is not refrigerated. Okay, it's a great idea. This cannoli. If the ricotta was done better, I think this cannoli can be served in a restaurant. Not for everyone, I think it must be a restaurant with Paris Hilton goes or Kim Kardashian, uh, but it's a good idea. The whole time, so it's all melted, great. At least they're having so much fun, that's what's important. Manja. Manja, Paris, brava. Manja, manja with Paris Hilton. Okay, so let's yes. dive in. Wait, 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 wait. First, the cameraman is not recording properly, I'm sorry, everything is out of focus. But that plate has ravioli and the caprese salad at the same time. Ow! And why? The ravioli is, is swimming in butter and sage. If you put the caprese in there, you are mixing the flavors of balsamic, mozzarella, tomato. You don't do that. Get the antipasto plate first. Get a, a plate for the caprese. When you finish the caprese, you eat the ravioli, which, by the way, by now, they're probably frozen. It's been so long. And I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> but why do I have to teach you everything? Why I need to tell you everything? Do I need to tell you how to put a fork in your mouth? Come on! Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> you are a very good dancer, but you're not good cooks. Paris, all I can say from this uh, episode is that you have created a cooking show that I wish it was mine. I wish I had a cooking show on Netflix, but I'm not Paris Hilton, so I understand. The thing I want to say is please inspire other people. Does this inspire you to cook? I hope it did. I hope your niche, the people that love you and follow you, are inspired to cook. But when it's time to cook, Come and watch channels like mine or other people who have a legit cooking show and we can share love with you, okay? This is the deal that we can have, okay? If that's the deal, then Paris can keep doing this forever, okay? <laughs> and we work together. What can I say? I enjoyed watching this. Uh, I'm going to watch the other episodes. But what do you think, guys? What do you think of the series? What do you think Netflix should have done? Um, do this, not doing this, and I guess money buy everything, right? When you have money, nobody can say no to you. That's the world we live in. You have money, you can do anything you want. But please write a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next Vincenzo's Play video recipe. 
e ora si mangia. Vincenzo Splett.